Harper's Ferry. So amazing. I don't know what the fort looks like. I think the fort is up ahead. Here we are at John Brown's Fort in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. I've been so looking forward to coming here. I have not been here since I was a teenager and the only thing I remember from Harpers Ferry is this view right here of the Rocky Mountain right there. Uh, that's the only thing I remember. And this is the front of the fort. Now the story of John Brown is that of course he was an abolitionist who barricaded himself in here uh, as an act of bravery and, you know, taking a stand against slavery. So this is the spot. Um, in, we read a, we read a, uh, Martin and I read a biography of Ulysses Grant and it turns out that he, his father, was friends with John Brown's father. And even John Brown, I think, lived with the Grants for a while. And he said that John Brown was a, was a very virtuous man, but he was also kind of a crazy person. He was really, really would stand up for what he believed in, um, in, in extreme ways. So lots of goodness, intense goodness. This is the inside of the fort. When we were at Harper's Ferry, I was kind of distracted because the kids were running all over the place and Martin was not with me. He was driving around so we wouldn't have to pay for parking. But uh, I wanted to tell the story of John Brown. So John Brown, um, he was an abolitionist and he was originally from Ohio. Um, and he had, I believe he had a tannery is what his trade was. But um, he was a very intense abolitionist and wanted to do away with slavery. And so he had this idea that he could break into the federal armory at Harper's Ferry and arm the slaves um, and they could have a big revolt and that would end slavery. His whole deal was we need action. And so this is what his plan was. Arm the slaves, they could, you know, come up, come out on top and end slavery that way. And it was so sad because nobody really joined in his cause. And so he had only, I think he had 19 men or maybe he was one of the 19 men, I'm not really sure. Not very many people joined him. A few slaves from local, the local area joined him and a few other people. And um, he did get into the armory and barricaded himself in there, but a lot of people were killed and um, it just did not really work out very well. It didn't, it was not a success at all. And then he was killed for treason and also murder because so many people died in his scheme. So that's the sad story of John Brown. He